Hey, hey, my beautiful booze. I got a video for you guys today uh, in this video because I didn't get to swatch these in the last video for you guys. I wanted you to see all these poly gels. I didn't want the video to be super long like it already was. So I divided the video up for you guys. I hope you enjoy these colors and may explain this kit to you a little bit. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think down below. Before you go any further, hit that subscribe button. I'll have these poly gel kit linked down below for you guys, and let's get started. Okay, guys, so now that... Okay, so let me just say, I love this poly gel. It is my favorite, um, one of my favorite brands, okay? Now, this poly gel kit are for those of you who love to do, like, crystal nails or, you know looks like that with like mylar and things in it um you can easily layer you know you can layer the mylar you can do a lot of things with it um i i like it i was a little off thrown with it with the matte top coat for some odd reason i feel like the matte top coat kind of gave it a different look i guess that i didn't care for so um, and plus the fact that the nails that I had put on that I was trying out, I did not like. I did not It was a shape that I wasn't used to. I just didn't like it. They were too wide. They just felt weird. And so I ended up following them all off. And I ended up coming up with this. So I hope this is okay. And this is for those who like to do... This is just regular nail polish on top of these three here. And then I added the little sticker. And then, of course, I got the little glitter butterflies inside. Now, I didn't put the rhinestones on because where well, this is such a, a short mani, if you did, um, you know, you might overdo it a little bit. But, you know, you could definitely add the little butterflies on this little finger here. Um, but I, I think these will be a lot better, like, if you have longer nails. But they are super adorable. And they have, like, the little leaves. You could, you could actually do something on these nails if you wanted to. You could do these. Um, but I'm going to finish swatching these out for you guys because I told you I would do that. But I just wanted you to see what you could do. But I totally transformed those nails into these because, like I said, I didn't like that. I didn't like the, the shape of the nails I had. So, but it did off throw me a little bit because this is a very, very, very translucent poly gel. This has just got like a tinge of color but you know and but before that before i understood exactly what this poly gel was i didn't know if i liked it or not but once i started to like study it more and like realize what it was really about it it became clear that you know this is those for who like to add glitter if you add if you like to add mylar if you like to add fruit fimo um if you want to create layers, I mean, that's what this poly gel is. This, this is a, which I do love. I do love every bit of that. So I'm really excited to create more with this poly gel. But as far as like mixing colors together, mm, no, I, I don't really recommend that. I just, you know, each one does <clears throat> their own thing, but it works better with the shiny top coat. I did notice that um, a lot better. It made it, you could tell a little bit more out of the color that was you know, in the poly gel. So, anyways, these are the three colors that I use. So, you've done seen these. So, I'm going to put those away. And I'm going to swatch the ones that I didn't use. So, alright, let's go. Okay, so I don't know if all of these are that translucent. So, we're going to check it out. This is Helena. As you can see, like, there's not, you know, it's mostly, like I said, for, like, crystal, crystal nails. It doesn't really have a color to it. Like, that's pretty clear. But, like I said, you can do some wonderful, amazing things with it. Um, let me just say, you know, for instance, if you wanted to add glitter, you can mix glitter in this, for instance. Dr. Butterfly's hair, for instance. Um, oh gosh, if I can get it open. Here we go. I'm just gonna 
I'm going to pick up some on top of this poly gel here, like this. Just going to add it inside, like this. just going to do it inside of this watch because you can still see if it has color or not. So let me add some more. So, you know, if you wanted to, like I said, create layers, you can. Now, you don't necessarily have to cure it. When it, you know, whenever you build your first layer, I mean, you might want to, if you, like, for a few seconds, just to hold it in place. But I'm just going to make sure that I cover those butterflies. back there some but I mean you see how pretty that is though that with those little butterflies in it like you could cure that like so, oh gosh that's just so pretty I love that see super nice but like I said that's though this is for those who love to do nail art with clear nails like clear you know clear designs and stuff so I'm gonna turn that upside down I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds all right so the next one is gonna be Anna I love these butterflies Now this one has a little bit more color in it. It's more like a pink. You guys can see that. Yeah, see so that one is pink. Now that's more color than I'm seeing in most of them. So let's see what this turns out like. The other ones wasn't that, uh, didn't have that much in it like this one does. So let's see. It's almost like they just have a, a very slight tint to them. And, but, you know, the more you spread it out, you can see just a little glimpse of it.
see it just applies so smoothly it really does it's such a nice poly gel and it's so clear like I'm really shocked right now it's actually really amazing but like I said before I understood what it was about what it was and I was just like you know did, but it's like I said you know once I studied it and realized what what it really is it's like it's a beautiful like you can create so many layers and just it's going to be great going to be a great kit so those of you who like to create those kind of nails and nail designs you will love this kit all right so that one there was helena helena very pretty just really nice i like that it's clear very clear like there's not really that much of a color like i i don't really see a color like it just looks really clear and those butterflies mm, gorgeous and of course they're holographic so they shine so pretty but you know if you wanted to add glitter as a background like you could fill it full of glitter and then you know you know what I mean like if I was gonna do this I'd probably put a glitter underneath it then put like my butterflies on you know put a little tiny layer then maybe your butterflies on top and create that dimension out of it all right so this one is vienna now i'm sorry if this video is long Sometimes these bigger kits like this, you can't help but have longer videos because the kits are so, you know, SXC kits are amazing. They listen to their people. You know, they, they try to put in everything that you can possibly use or want for nail art. They try to think of all that stuff for you, and that's pretty amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, now this has a little bit of pink, but it's kind of... It's a subtle pink, like it's so light. Oh, that's that's actually pretty. I can't explain these colors though. It's like I said, you can see it when you you know a little bit, a little tiny tint of that pink. But it's, you know, once you spread it out, it's to, it turns kind of that transparent, of course, you know, but like a slight. Now some colors, it's a couple colors I couldn't really tell, like that Helena. I couldn't really see a color in that one. So, but this is great for, um, oh God, this would be so good for Christmas too. Christmas nails, like when you want to create, you know, those kinds of nails too. I'm definitely going to be using this kit quite often, I feel like. Now that I know more about it, you know, now that I know what I can do with it, you know. Is that one that's pretty and it does have a little bit of milky to it to it it's not so translucent as the other ones is it does have a little bit of milky to it so that'd be great for like milk bath nails that'd be great and you could just add a little bit of like white marble it marbling will be totally easy with this stuff definitely See, it doesn't take that much product either because it spreads really nice. Taking that tip into that brush and just pulling it and it is beautiful. Oh, it's so nice and it's not that sticky. It's not like a sticky, sticky, sticky poly gel that you just can't get away from your brush. Like, you know what I mean? That stuff is beautiful. Okay. Make sure you're cleaning your poly gel brush too as you're going. Because a lot of times people, when you 
like say for instance you're going around your cuticle like that with your brush and you still have poly gel on it well what happens is then when you cure it you're curing that invisible layer onto your skin so make sure that you're keeping that clean or get a separate cleanup brush and that way you can clean your nails okay so I'm going to be doing Yasmin this is Yasmin Jasmine, it looks like a little bit on it has like maybe white in it, maybe like a little bit or no, I don't know. All right, so I tell you what, I'm just gonna put all these on a swatch and then we'll start swatching them out. Like they have just a tiny, tiny amount of color to these. Like you can, I can see it now that I'm kind of looking at it, but you got to look at it. You know what I mean? Um, this one is called Fiona. This one has like a yellow tint to it. We have, what is that, Valenlina? Valenlina? Maybe. Mm, then now that's got a really pretty pink to it. I can see kind of a greenish tint to that one. To the Yasmin, Yasmania, Yas, Yasmania, I think it's called. And then I got one more. I've got this one here, and this is Angelina. That one has like a purplish pink. That one does. Alright, so let's go ahead and swatch all these out. I'll speed this part up for you guys. That way you're not like having to sit here and listen to me talk to myself, you know. <laughs> anyway so let's go let's go
Okay, so this one is the Yasmania. Got a slight little tint to it. Um, I kind of wonder in a way too, like if these aren't like sensitive to the light somewhat, because I feel like these kind of got just a little bit darker as they cooled down. I can see just a very, very slight color, like not a lot of color. But they're going to be so nice. I think it's going to be great. Though. I really do like this kit though. This is one of my going to be one of my favorite kits. Now this one has like a little bit of the yellow color to it. Let me move these back so you can see them. If you like to create like a lot of crystal looks, then you'll like these. This is Fiona. This is Fiona. A little bit of yellow to it. And then we <clears throat> we have Valenlina. Valenlina. Valenlina, I guess you want to say it. Has a little bit of that pretty pink. Very, very sheer. And then the last one that we have is this one here, and this one is Angel Angelina. And that one's got that really pretty pink in it. Nice. Very nice. So, let me come back. Alright, so let me, let me fix these. And like I said, we have these colors here that we just, you got the, um, now there aren't stickers in this kit. These here, put them upside down. You get a bunch of these little um, butterfly stickers. They're really nice. Uh, they lay pretty flat too, unless you kind of mess it up like I did. But um, they do lay pretty flat. They're very easy to tear though, so do be careful when you're picking these little stickers off because they're very delicate. There's the little nail art stickers that you get, remember? And then you get all your rhinestones. Oh, and these, this is the, the colors that I used, of course. And there's the three colors that I used in this set here, this set. I think it turned out so cute. And then, like I said, you get all your um, rhinestones, you get your dual forms, you get your, you get your, um, your forms in it and you get the glitter that glitter those butterfly glitters are so flipping nice aren't they like I love those super super nice like I said you get all these little rhinestones that come in it these little butterfly, little butterflies that come in up. I'm definitely going to be doing another set. I'm going to be doing a longer set. But I'm going to be putting on the right ones that I like. So, anyways, that is the kit, the butterfly series. You guys let me know down below. Like I said, you know, I just want you to understand that when you get this kit, you know, it's not, it's not like overpowering color or like a actual jelly jelly color very translucent it just has the slightest color to it like very slightly 
Um, but like I said, that's going to be great for those of you who love to build like crystal nails or do layered nails or even if you like to paint, like put glitter and then paint on half the nail, like you can do all kinds of stuff with this. So it's, it'll be really great. Like I said, the formula is amazing. I love their poly gel. It stays in place. It doesn't run all in your cuticles. Very easy to maneuver. Um, don't, you don't have to use a lot of alcohol, but I really enjoy this kit. I'm going to leave this kit linked down below for you guys. And you guys let me know what you think. If you know if you like this or not. But, hmm. At 6C, I have to say, I'm really proud of this kit. I actually love this kit. Like I said, once I figured out what I was going to do with this kit and what I, what I could do with it. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Anyways, guys. Hope you're having a good one. Like I said, go check out all my other videos. Don't forget to share this one as well. I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful, blessed day. Stay safe, my friends, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!